Shane here, Kambacho Project Farm. So this is the beginning of a 2.4 metre contour that runs probably it's about 7 metres above our, our major our flood height um, and yeah, runs across the so low part of the farm and we've got a pickup point here out of a gully so this is a this is a flow line coming out of a major wetland area that we've we've restored over the last 11 years using the natural sequence farming technologies but you can see here we've got a a flow happening here All right so we've just been in with an excavator and we've realigned this pickup point so I had a pickup point here that was not, not following contour and it was creating havoc because I was bringing all the water in one place and, and it had a lot of force in it. So we've realigned this and we've surveyed a, a, a bankless contour. Uh, this, is the, this is the havoc that was created before. So we've, we've filled a lot of that in. It had quite an eroded channel. But yeah, we've done this bankless contour um, around here. Blah, blah, blah. Lovely walking through this stuff. But this is a gully that was dry when I came to the farm 11 years ago. It's now literally running 12 months of the year. So we've really well and truly reinstated all the, the hydrology above this point. And this is the point where we pick up, we take the water two ways, right at the end of here, this is tipping into a contour that runs up here another 100 metres or so. And, and we've specifically made this as a bankless contour. So we can harvest water out of it into the contours going either way. And then if we get excess flow, it has got the capacity to go straight ahead. So at, either, at any time we can go into these contours on either side and put a blockage in them. You know, a couple of shovelfuls of dirt will block them up and it will allow this water to go straight ahead. So this is a really good, to me this is a really good example of a, of a bankless contour. Here's an old pipe here coming in out of the gully from where there was a roadway here. So we've got a flow of water coming into there. This was a bit of a low spot here. So we've, we've beefed that up a bit. So that's potentially, we could have problems with this, but I'll go into this low spot and probably plant things like a rundo donax and, and vetiver grass just to, to shore that up a bit. You know, probably we should have come up, up slope a little bit here for this short bit, but we've come straight across Put some wadding in there to try and hold it together and we'll see what happens as, as it develops over time. But the, the main flow is down the, the centre here. This is the main part of the gully where we put this dent in it to get around that. So yeah, that's it. That's a bit of a realignment. So we've just had an excavator in for three days and gone around the whole farm and kind of patched up, repaired, modified uh, made adjustments to our, our natural sequence farming works over the last years and in particular we went around all of our old soil conservation drains and we've beefed up the, the blockage work we did in them turning them into chain of ponds um, and look I'll tell you what the, the, the chain of ponds work we've done here is, is absolutely brilliant in terms of the water we're getting into this landscape now and you know the whole farm literally was covered with old soil con drains so as i say that they were built in the 60s and 70s so this place has had the plug pulled out of the bath for the last 50 or 60 years and now we've put the plug back in the bath and we've got this water managed, we've, we've reinstated the wet, wetlands, we've lifted the water table, so we've got now this water available to 
to spread through our production systems. Pretty damn exciting. So that's it from Shane and a couple of dogs. Cass and Dixie. Yeah, Cass and Dixie want to say goodbye to you as well. Here they come. Dixie's really happy about the concept of saying goodbye. She just can't get enough pats. Can you, Dixie? Bye-bye.